Okay, so um, I've got a bit of a surprise segment for David. Oh, doing that one now? Yeah, I've decided we're going to do it now. Um, something we've never done on the show before, but I thought, fuck it, let's do it. Um, da- hey, David. Yes, What are you sir. doing tonight? I'm going on a date. You're going on a date. Now, on a now date. this is the second date with this girl. Second, man. Second's always exciting. You're right. Um, and you had a great time on your first date. Yeah, wonderful time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, here's the thing I'm going to do is that... Um, you know, look, I, I'm not, who knows if it's going to work out? Hopefully it does. You know, you don't know. But while um, David's, you know, in the moment of, oh, yeah, he had a great first date. He's about to go on a second date. I thought I'm going to take advantage of something here. Oh, God. Now, tell me a bit about this first date and her interests. What sort of things were you telling me about that she liked? Oh, okay. So we um, went for some drinks in the city, which yep. is great. We just chatted a lot about, we chatted a lot about travel. Yeah. Um, we chatted, we chatted a bit about like personal interests yep. and things like that. Yeah. Um, she mentioned that she's a big fan of Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to stop you right there. Yeah. Now, David, Kingdom Hearts is my favorite video game franchise I know, of all it time. Is your, I know so it when is. you told me that, I was like, wow, that's cool. And you said to me the other day, you go, this is the first time I'd ever consider playing Kingdom Hearts now. Like it yep. actually made me mm-hmm. consider it. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, David, is, um... Get you to play the opening of Kingdom Hearts. Really? Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do go. right now is first, before anything else, I'm going to pitch you. I'm going to explain to you what Kingdom Hearts is. Mm-hmm. We're going to watch the trailer. Yep. For the first game. I did see the trailer up in the tabs. So I was like, oh, yeah. I wonder what's going on. And there. then we're going to play the opening of oh the gosh, game. Here we go. Um, Hopefully they don't suck. I haven't played. Dude, I haven't played PS in ages. So this is um this is my idea. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. I thought I'm gonna take advantage of you accepting your fate. Yeah. Um, Which you'll be playing this game if, if the second. Day and then you well, can tell her that tonight that you played the I opening played to Kingdom Hearts. Today, yeah. So um, this is exciting. <laughs> this is this exciting. Is good. This and is I can good. title this video "Introducing My Best Friend to Kingdom Hearts." Perfect. I feel like that's a great video. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Because I watched some. I watched you play a bit yesterday, and it does look really, really great. I saw you do some boss fights, and I was like, hmm. I love boss fight games. I love learning mechanics. I yep. love that kind of stuff. And Tyler was like, "Well, basically, it's a boss fight game." So I'm interested. Yeah, I'm very, very much interested. Yeah, it's a it's a Japanese RPG, boss fight game. Yeah, with an incredibly beautiful story with Disney characters involved. Fantastic. So I'll give you the rundown. Mm-hmm. I'll give you the really. I'll give you the cliff notes, and then I'll go into a bit more detail. Mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts is about a young boy named Sora, who's a Keyblade wielder. At the age of 12, 13, becomes a Keyblade Master. Well, not a Keyblade Master, but the Master of the Keyblade. This magical, you know, weapon mm-hmm. um, that chooses its... It chooses its Master, and it chose Sora. Cool. Uh, a, a, ma- a boy of pure heart. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't know why, at the start, obviously. We don't know why it chose him, but you, throughout this, the ten games and movies, you find all, that, all these things out and more. It develops into a very intricate, detailed story about light and dark, love and loss, um, and a lot of different personal journeys um, with many, many characters and and intricate um, storylines with those characters. But the basic note is, you play as a kid who wields a keyblade, fights shadows, and your best friend is Donald and Goofy. Fantastic. So there you can penetrate your journey, and you travel to different Disney worlds, um, trying to world. defeat Dark Shadows. <laughs> That's like the uh. the cliff notes of the first game. Uh, but you lose... So these things are called the Heartless, and they like consume worlds. Mm-hmm. They steal hearts and consume worlds. And when you lose your heart, you become a Heartless. Kingdom and they heart. consume different worlds into shadows. Cool. So each world is a different Disney movie. But there's also Kingdom Hearts, like original world. So Sora's from this place called Destiny Islands. So mm-hmm. that's just original world. It's a Kingdom Hearts world. Great. And... His world gets swallowed into darkness, and he goes on a journey searching for his friends. Meanwhile, Donald and Goofy are searching for the king, Mickey, King Mickey, who's gone on a journey. So they and he tells them they need he, they need to find um, the the Keyblade, um, and because Sora has the Keyblade, they link up, and they like have mutual interest to find the king, and he wants to find his best friend. So they go on a journey throughout Disney worlds to find clues and find their friends, and that's the story of the first game. And then it opens up you realise there's so much more to this world, so much more to this universe, so many stories involved, but still, one thing that's consistent in each game is the link to, you go through all these Disney worlds. So there's like this beautiful fun and joy to it all, Yeah. but also, you you have this incredible, 
like detailed storyline that that, that um, continues on throughout the narrative, uh, and so many memorable characters. So, mm. do you want to pull up the trailer? Absolutely, man. Uh, Is this the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. that. Just that. PS two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Just um, I thought let's just play the PS two trailer. Yeah. Um. Oh, yes, yeah, so you're only gonna get four eighty. Yeah. Just hit play on that. Seven twenty. Oh man, this looks. Is old. there sound to that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, the sound there. Cool. Yeah. We should be good. Are we getting an ad right now? Nope. Oh, no, we're good. Do you want to read that? Thinking of you, wherever you are. <laughs> we pray for our sorrows to end and hope that our hearts will blend. I can't read that. Now I'll step forward and realize this wish. Dude, this music is incredible. By it's way. half the reason I'm really excited to play this game, because Disney... They and know who knows? Music, man. Starting a new journey may not be so hard, or maybe... It has already begun. Love that. The Kingdom Hearts music, man. Like, you you feel nostalgia without even having to have played it, you know what I mean? Yeah. There are many worlds, but they share the same sky. One sky, one destiny. There's so much heart to this, bro. There's so much heart to this series. It is the greatest game franchise of all time. And it's not just nostalgia. I got James and the whole community into it only a few years ago, and now it's all their favorite franchises. True. There's Sora. There's a boy. So it's the same company that makes Final Fantasy. So there are Final Fantasy characters that appear in this, like yeah, Cloud, Sephiroth, and, Sephiroth uh, Leon, Yuffie, Aerith, yeah, true. Sid. Interesting. Riku, Kairi. Aurora. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's a Heartless. Yep. You're seeing? So Sora's like... So that's when his world's getting swallowed Ooh, by, by darkness. And there's, yeah, it's a boss fight game as well. So every world, you're always fighting lots of bosses. And the further you get in, obviously, the harder it gets. There's lots of difficulty settings. So now you're sort of seeing a bit of the Disney side of things. Donald, Goofy. The three best friends, man. There's the three best friends. Like, their friendship is so beautiful. There's so much magic to it, man. As if this music doesn't make you want to cry. This Cloud. Oh, dude. Cloud's such a boss, dude. He's such a boss. Winnie the Pooh, bro. Ta oh, you asked me about Tarzan? Tarzan. He's so sick. Yeah. Little Mermaid. How unreal is this, hey? I remember showing Jared this. He didn't even know what this was. He didn't know this existed. And showing him this, he was blown away. He's like, this exists. What the fuck yeah, is I this? I really should play this. Yeah, well, you're about to. You're yeah. literally about to play this. <laughs> just so you're aware of that. You're about to play this. Peter Pan, was that? Aladdin? Yeah. Aladdin, yep. I want to talk about boss fights. Like, you're fighting. These are the bosses you're fighting, man. Like, these Disney villains. Bambi. Mm. Yeah. Neverland. Yeah. Like, yeah, bro, it's um, it's unbelievable. It truly is. <gasps> Keyblade. I'm about to change your life. I just hope you realize that we're documenting your life changing forever. Hectic. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Close it up. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Um, I'm very, very excited to to play the game. I think a massive part of it. I mean, I I love Disney. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But for me, I think my biggest hesitation was like, oh, like, you know, Donald and Goofy and yeah. running around with Aladdin. It seemed not childish. It just seemed like, I guess, slightly um, trivial. I don't know. Like, yeah. but I was like, how can you connect to this world? you know, in, like, as an adult. Yeah. And I think music is the key. I think, obviously, the characters and the story and the combat's going to be a lot of fun, but music is it's, ageless. It's you know everything, I mean? man. Yeah. There's ev the thing is, Kingdom Hearts Nails, everything. So, that's what connects it. Mm. It's got the music, it's got the story, it's got the characters, it's got the world, it's got the magic, it's got everything. Mm. Like, you can feel nostalgia without having any nostalgic connection. Absolutely. So, what we're going to do right now is play the first, the opening. Alrighty. The opening. So let's do it. <clears throat> let's fucking do it. 
So um, All right. how do you feel right now? I'm excited, yeah. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, hang on, I'll just see you. Yeah. Hang on, you've got to also experience the... Just dearly beloved, man. This is an important part of the Kingdom Hearts experience. Because I told you yesterday, this is the tune that is on every Kingdom Hearts game, but it, they redo it every time. Mm. Here we go. Shit's about to go down. This classic Japanese. Yeah, dude. Love it. It's like an opening to an anime. <laughs> and this woman that sings this song sings all the main line yeah. songs. She retired. Really? But came back just for Kingdom Hearts 3 to do the song for it. Amazing. Do you will be number four? Yeah, yeah, 100% they won't. It's so dramatic. It's so good. It's classic. <laughs> and you're an anime fan. Yeah, I'm surprised that like you love this kind of stuff. I reckon there's a few series you could really get into because this is a classic like opening like song to like an anime. It's like super dramatic, like really cool I don't really know what cool it band. is that stops me from liking animes, because I just can't do it. Yeah. It literally bothers me. Interesting. Yeah. How funny that we were the opposite in terms of yeah, this game. Yeah, I know. And... funny. First time. Here we go. Have to fight something, right? Oh, dude, crispy. Yeah. Dude. Crispy gameplay. So much to do. It's just so it. early 2000s, I love it. <laughs> Take your time. door is still shut. Now step forward. Can you do it? I'm just gotta walk forward. I feel like I really need to be clear commentating what you're doing. Yeah. Because there will be audio versions of this show. Mm -hmm. Just for that alone. Oh, true, true. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So I'll try my best to also, like, really audio commentate what's going yep. on. But I will cut this for quite sure. a bit. I'm not just gonna have a sit here playing Oh, the shit. Game. The sword. Nice. So you're gonna choose... <gasps> So circles jump. Okay. What is X then? X is attack. Oh, cool. Spam. So what, uh, what's your choice? Sword, sure. Do you need to jump up there? Okay, okay. Power of the warrior. Invincible courage. A sword of terrible destruction. Complete with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> is this the power you see? 100%. <laughs> your path is set. I'll be the narrator. Does it change like, now what the will outcome you, at all? Yeah, no, now what will you give up in exchange? It's just stats. So what are you giving up? Defense or oh. magic? Oh. Dude. It's, 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 they're, they're tough choices. Do you have a recommendation? Um, Look, I love the old sword and shield. Yeah, then I'd give up magic. Yeah. yeah. You're going to need magic, but I find at Kingdom Hearts 1, you probably only really need your heal magic more than anything, so you're mm. fine. Whereas in the later games, you, it's easier to use magic, I find. You've chosen the power of the warrior. You've given up the power of the mystic. Mm-hmm. Is this the form you choose? Yes, it is. Yeah, most games I play, I like to go sword and board. Just like sword and shield, straight up. Yeah, that's the same. In my older age, <laughs> I've gone a bit more magic. I feel like, yeah, if I was more experienced at the game, I probably would go magic. But yeah. I want to get the... Uh, it used to affect what level you got certain abilities, depending True. on what you picked. Like, I remember I would always pick magic because you would get scan at level 9 mm. um, in the original, but now it doesn't matter. True. Is there, like, the talents and abilities and stuff? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, there's lots of abilities you'll gain. Like, the game, at the end of the game, compared to more in the later games, but Ching. compared to the start, like, the flow of it, your jump, your different abilities you have, it plays so different. So X is your attack. Cool. All right. You've got it. Use this power to protect yourself and others. Cool. Magic Blue equals power. magic. There'll be times you have to fight. Easy. Can you lock on? Yep. Cool. Keep your light burning strong. Okay. So R1, I believe, is lock on. Oh my gosh. You just killed your first heartless. Congratulations. Oh, gotta get used to the combat. How are you feeling? Stressed. Really? <laughs> I'm on video. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I've never, I've never streamed playing games before. Does yeah, it, inc it increases, you know, unless you get used to it after a while. But yeah, I guess, I guess so. Yeah, yeah you, fuck, get, you definitely. If get I used fuck to. up, I get roasted. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like it's pretty easy at this point. You played enough games, I think you'll be okay. Yeah. Um, I'll get the hang of it. With playing the tutorial to a twenty-year-old game. <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> Ooh. 
So nice, the color palette's so fucking cool. Yeah. This is a field icon of pops up wherever I So that's the triangle, so. Okay, cool. So your bottom left is sort of your like. Pops up. Cool. It's a triangle, sort of your like interaction button. Push. Yeah, so sort of. So you hold down, you hold down. Yeah. Hang on. Push. So you need to be sort of, sort of towards center, maybe try the other side. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. I think you just gotta run into it a little bit. I'll also yeah. smash them. <laughs> Drops an item, look at that. Cool. Pick it up. Potion. Items with the so items command. down the bottom left is your like command deck. Uh-huh. So that's, so when you, and you use the D-pad to scroll down it. Mm -hmm. Um, the shortcuts holding L1 will, as you go on, like, if you hold L1, it'll give you the shortcuts for your X square triangle circle. So you can press L1 like, hit and then and So L1 and then your command deck will pop up with your shortcuts you've created, which could be for magic and items. So those are your quick shortcuts, the things you use a lot. But your command deck, you have attack and hit the D-pad. Hit down on the D-pad. Yeah. And then sort of go down. So that'll be your items. Magic will be above that, and and your abilities will be down the bottom when you unlock all those. But then you want to sit on attack just generally as a general rule. So when you hit X, it, you're always just going to attack. But when mm. you drop down and hit X, it'll then be magic. Hit down again, uh, items. So that's how you swap targets. Yeah. Etc. Interesting. Okay. So oh, when you're locked on, you can't move the camera. No. Ah, oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. That's tough. But it keeps you focused on. That's where you lock on. Because yeah. the auto lock on will be wherever you're close to, and it'll direct you that way. Yeah, interesting. Um, but if you lock cool. lock on, so you want to go over to that item, you want to pick it up. Yep. So you go lift, yep. and then you want to throw it. So you hit X to throw it. Oh, yeah. uh, it, oh it doesn't matter. I just let go of triangle. No, that's fine. Yeah. So cool. now the door's unlocked. It's, it's well, it's ready right. to be opened. Here we go. Through the door. Hold on, the door won't open just yet. Shit. First, tell me more about yourself. So just give me a D-pad stuff. So walk over to each character. So you can go into first person view. Is that what you said? Um. Interesting. Uh, what's most important to you? Being, Being number one. one. Friendship. My prized possessions. Hundred percent friendship. Okay. Is friendship such a big deal? Interesting. You gotta talk to I'll mate with the beach ball. He looks familiar. What do you want out of life? Rare sites. Broad my horizons to be strong. Rare sites. Cool. And then there's one other guy. So what are you afraid of? Getting old, being different, being decisive. Being indecisive, huh? <clears throat> you want friendship. You want to see rare sights. You're afraid of being indecisive. Your adventure begins at midday. Keep a steady pace and you'll come through fine. Sound good? Sounds good. The day you will open the door is both far off and very near. Crazy. Shit, man. Oh, man, this is hectic. Oh, shit. Fighting some heartless. Damn, this guy's like everywhere. Let's back up a bit. What are you feeling from the vibe of this so far? Oh, man, it's tough. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, yeah, so the thing with these. Can you dodge at all? You can, but you, you get that ability later. You uh, dodge okay. roll later. <clears throat> yeah, the game really opens up the more abilities you Oh, get. wait, do you get health or something as you kill things? Yeah, the green orbs they drop is health. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah. I was like, shit, I'm getting hit. Ooh, a save point. So you go up to that, and then press triangle. And items drop? 
That's all just health. You've got full health. But a save point, I'll full heal you. Once oh, you true. One. Great. Here we go. So hit triangle to save. Save. Yeah. Yep. So just hit triangle. Yep. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's creating <clears throat> a staircase. Shit. Sure. What do you think of the music here? Pretty cool, there. Yeah. I love it. The design's really cool, too. I like it. Doesn't feel 20 years old, hey? Nah, it's um, it's a very unique design. Well, I haven't played a game with this kind of design. Yeah. Have you played a JRPG before? I've actually never played Final Fantasy. Never played um, no, never played a JRPG. Closer you get to light, the greater Closest the one I played was Monster Hunter, but I didn't play it very much. Yeah. Shadow, Shadow me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's huge. But don't be afraid. I have to fight this guy. Yeah. Oh, damn. So you can, he only has two vulnerable points, his hand and his head. So I'd lock onto his hand. Okay. You can sort of climb up his hand to get to his head. Because uh, his head, you do more damage hitting his head. So you want to hit his hand. But you also summon different things. So you automatically jump when you're near things? Yeah, if you're locked on. You might want to unlock on if you want to take down now that he's sort of shooting out shadow powers from his chest. I think he's getting hit, am I? Oh my god, nothing's even coming at you. Usually they're like, he's shooting out things and they come around and they like heat seek you. Like heat seeking fucking missiles. He's got like a big heart in him. He's coming out with a hammer. Yeah, he's just summoning some shadows. Try to climb up his arm. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, no, you, then you get to his head, it does way more damage. True. So he, he's only going to be down there for so long, so you need to do it now. So you need to jump up and then you can sort of walk oh, up. I probably need to unlock from them then. Yeah, run up. definitely. Might just kill these guys on the ground. He's going to keep something. Yeah, just kind of clear the way a bit. Just go for his hand when you can't go for his head, but yeah. when you get the chance, when he punches down, then climb up his arm and just hit him in the head because he does way more. Next time he kind of gets to the ground. Oh, you got him. Nice, nice, and, nice and easy. Nice and easy for your first one. So that's good though, what you said. It's like you got to look for the strategy. Yeah. Because not all bosses can just be hit. you got to look for their weakness. Yeah. And this is obviously the easiest one possible. It's a tutorial boss. For sure. But don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. Keyblade? So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. Interesting. that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow. Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Hmm, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds <coughs> out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey! Aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Ah. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you know this. Okay, we'll finish it together. 
I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. There we go. Ready to go? <coughs> so this is Destiny Island, right? Yeah, <laughs> the Destiny Islands. Is the name of the world, right? <coughs> oh. So there we go. You've just finished the tutorial and now you're in the there game. There we go. My introduction to Kingdom Hearts. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. It's very pretty. I love the color. Color palette's nice. Yeah. The characters are already, you know, instantly lovable. Yeah. So. It is It is 20 years old in the fact that it's like, it's like, it's, it takes its time. <laughs> yeah. But that's any game back then. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. It definitely takes its time. For sure. Good work, my friend. There we go, man. I'm, I'm happy. Done, done. I'm proud of you. Exciting.